is back at the top of the country and back inside Mackey for the first time in 17 days. And the number one Boilermakers have blown past mid-major teams this year. They'll try to do it again. Stay undefeated in non-conference against Jacksonville. Purdue just beat number one. That means they are number one again. Back at the top of the pole and back on their home court in the final game before Christmas. Ray Kaufman ran into the post, has it tapped back out in recovery with 10 on the clock. And a flat-footed three goes down. How about that? Here's McCray, the top scorer for Jacksonville, and he gets it past the big hands of Zach Eady. Here's McCray, the top scorer for Jacksonville, and he gets it past the big hands of Zach Eady. The question what Coach Painter wanted to do on a defensive end, that's sick, right? Big. And a lawyer no, and Trey Kaufman ran with all five for Purdue. What he's done a lot of times this year. Simple job, he says, opposite of Edie. Braden Smith looking for guys coming with him. Leaps it for Lance Jones. Short on it. Offensive rebound for Pruitt. Wide open look. And it goes down for three for Cook. 21 of them have been three-pointers. When he's shooting the ball from three, he can cash it in. Mm. Lawyer stays out. Back into Kaufman round. Seven points for him. He's getting there. He is getting there. Mid-range hit for Jossie Powell. Yep. That's what Jacksonville calls it. They rate it by medals, yep. like the Olympics. Open threes, they got to go up, just like that one. Jones just loves being the Boilermaker. He's falling in love with it. Bray into traffic, Smith away with it. And the guy that loves being a Boilermaker, up ahead for the dunk. He's not scared. He's going to talk trash. Offensively, he takes a few bad ones, but you can live with him. Oh, that is a, a ridiculous move. shot for Night Black. Seven apiece, seven points apiece for Jones and Kaufman Red, and now Zach Eady scores. They want to have a chance to compete in this one. Gillis fills it up. And he's going to knock down open three, shooting it above 50% from three this season. Turn around for McCray. Kept the ball out of the paint, didn't allow driving lanes, and forced a three at the end. This is where Pruitt's more comfortable in tight. He Good gets boy. the assignment on first, who's doubled and goes up anyway. And scores the easy bucket. They want to have a chance to compete in this one. Gillis. Fills it up. They're having the patience to go up and finish over the sides. Night Black with the sweeping cross. That is disgusting. Knowing that he loves that transition three, he stayed back and guarded the basket. Good drive. Lance Jones getting to the basket. Jacksonville. Good move. Really good move. With McCray, he can really, really play. And that's off the foot of somebody. He hit Edie's foot. But Jacksonville stays with it and threw it as a second three of the year. Powell. And oh. Oh, follow up for Payne. Get up, young fella. When that shot went up, he understood to crash the glass. He went up and finished with authority. When that ball goes up, you've got to find Jacksonville and hit. Because if you don't, they're hanging on rails. I just love how McCray has an innate ability to get to that right-hand floater being a lefty. Good shot. Colvin smacks a three. On the floor after sitting with the two fouls several minutes ago. And that is absolutely swallowed up. Black checks back into this basketball game on a design play. He drives it into a tree. Cook's been looking for his. And that was influenced by Edie, but followed by Payne. They have that backside rebound. Edie's been held to two points. Kaufman Wren has not. Now you get the one more. In and out, Lawyer. Kaufman Wren keeps it alive. Ooh. Second time for Colvin from three. Got to give it back to him. There you go. Right back to him. Crowd coming. Didn't matter. Four points for Edie in this first half. He's a workhorse. This is a, didn't just happen. Where did Lance Jones come from? Ooh. Edie on Rivers. Quick turn. Foul and one. That's not a good finish, but Lance Jones finds the big fella, finds his hands, and Zach Eady, one of the best in the country, at going up and finishing through contact. They've got to finish those bunnies, and the big fellas have got to be more available. Open lawyer. It's a three. So double digits for Kaufman Wren, one shy of his season high, and there's Powell. Good pass. Lawyer attacks the closeout. Kaufman Wren, some really good passes on that trip. Kaufman Wren's right there to contest an air ball, Powell and one.
I can remember every point of those 38. Each one more was one of the main reasons I committed to play for Gillis hits his second three of the game. I mean, when Isaac doesn't come, you don't get Biggie. Biggie doesn't come, you don't get Big Time. Oh, Heidi upstairs. Braden Smith was talking to P.J. Thompson today about throwing a lob in this game, and P.J. told him it better come before the 12-minute mark in the second half, and it did just that. But instead of booing Iowa at Rutgers and Indiana, we're booing no chicken in here tonight, and another one upstairs. This time it's Edie. He knows what he just did. First he did this. Did a great job breaking the press. Cam Heidi throwing it up to the big fella. Big crescendo as Edie took that three. A nice move for McCray to get back inside. They're not going to give it to him. Not give it to him. Pick chance. and pop. Come on, pick and pop. Good pass. That's what he does best. Oh, what he should do. Rolling right to the basket. Braden Smith with the missile. Right to the hands of Zach Eady. One of the best in the country at finishing through contact. And I just love his ability to have the confidence to keep shooting the basketball. McCray kept the ball right on his hip. Now... McCray is setting his feet with Morton out on him. Got it up and put it down. That's tough. Those count. There's a three that goes down for McCray. He gets on his jumper. No, he's smothered in the lane. Gillis away with it. Here comes Colby. He's already pretty good now doing stuff like this. We see what he can do in transition. Going up, head at the basket, going to finish with the motion. It's new for Purdue. They don't normally get athletes of Miles Colvin's pedigree, and it's exciting to have him on campus. 22 for McCray for the Dolphins. Parent, you feel comfortable sending your kids to the school you went to. First is upstairs to slam it. Wanting to recruit the Jacksonville area more and taking control of that area because there's good high school basketball in Florida, especially in Jacksonville. I think Purdue could be up in the 70s and the 80s. Oh, Heidi reaching behind him. Allow him to hang in the room and see, it, we'll see that one through. Showtime. He wants some more. There's Berg in a tight space, and Sabino's away with it. Up ahead, and a slam for Zach Bell. Missed him. He returned to the lineup their last game. He was out for several weeks. Berg pays it back. The Rick Mount days. Lebanon's finest. Hey! And adding to it with Colvin. For Purdue. One of their final four teams was the last to do that. And Berg is there for another flush. Waddell. No. And Sabino did not secure it. And a third dunk for Wilbur. Good cut. Good pass. Oh, hey! Good pass, Carson Baird. 